Hello guys, welcome once more to the GC panel online. In this tutorial, we are looking at June 2022 20, Pure Maths Paper 2, Question 7 and Question 8. So guys, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that immediately we upload any material for the GC to help you, you'll be the first to be notified. Don't, don't just subscribe, but equally click on the notifications bell here so that whenever we upload any content, you will be notified. Thank you so much for always being there and don't forget to share our videos, like them and share on WhatsApp and on Facebook. You can equally follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other platforms. Thank you and stay tuned to the end of this lesson. Your statistics, paper two, question six. Hello guys, welcome once more back to our channel. It's not going to be news for us telling you to subscribe again because <laughs> of it's obvious. We hope that you have already subscribed and we are pleading, we are begging that you share our videos with your friends and different WhatsApp books, uh, groups on Facebook and social media in any way you can so that you can diffuse our message to go nationwide as possible. So this question reads, given that Z and W are two complex numbers, solve the simultaneous equations 3Z plus W equals 9 plus 11I and IW minus Z equals minus 8 minus 2I, giving your answer in the form A plus BI, where A and B are real constants, four max. So this is just simultaneous equations involving complex numbers. All right, let's write down. So that's equation one. And this is equation two. So from these two equations, if we say equation one plus three times equation two, okay, equation one plus three times equation two, we want to eliminate z, okay, we imply we have w plus three wi is equal to minus fifteen plus five i. Mm. We now factor out our W. We have W into 1 plus 3i equals minus 15 plus 5i. And from here, we are going to realize, uh, divide both sides by 1 plus 3i and realize the denominator, okay? So in realizing the denominator, we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, which is 1 minus 3i. We now expand and simplify. We have 5i. So our W is equal to 5i when we do all these simplifications. Now from equation 1, we can now have 3z plus 5i because our W is 5i is equal to 9 plus 11i. And from here, our z will be equal to 3 plus 2i. So that is it for this question. Guys, please subscribe to this channel. There are some of our videos that we have restricted them only to those who have subscribed sometimes you see that you have not seen videos they are there you cannot see because you have not subscribed once you subscribe and search you will see them if you are not subscribed and you search you will not see some we are sorry about that but we need your active participation when you subscribe to it tells us that you're interested in our content so we make more but if you don't subscribe you don't share leave your comments we think that maybe we are just wasting our time we should not go ahead so that is uh, what or oh, that is where we find ourselves now, sub 2, let n be the set of natural numbers. A relation R is defined on the, on n by n by, so here we have the set of natural numbers, and this is a pair, right? This is an ordered pair, hmm? where all the elements are in the set of natural numbers. So at the ordered pair AB relates to the ordered pair CD implies D on B is equal to C on A. So show that R is an equivalent relation. First of all, what's an equivalent relation? A relation is said to be an equivalence relation if it is symmetric, reflexive, and transitive. In fact, reflexive first, symmetric, and transitive. So let's look at these three properties. If any of one of them fails, then the relation is not an equivalent relation. So equivalent uh, relations proof. So the first one, let's start with reflexive. 
The recessive means something um, operates with itself to give this same result. So AB relates to itself. Let's see the result. If AB relates to itself, we are going to have we are going to have so now we have d over b here right or d over b here this is d so we're going to have b over b because this position is divided by this one and then c over a so is this c over a here so uh, in this case of reflective we're going to have a over a so here this will imply b over b is equal to a over a obviously the result is the same right so b over b is equal to a over a which is equal to one so therefore r is reflexive for every a b an element of the set of n of the other pair n by n okay so since that related on itself or it's so, sorry it operates on itself and the results are the same like what we have here because b over b the answer is one a over a is one so the result is called one so the two are the same now the next property we have to test, test is symmetric so it is symmetric. An operation is symmetric if, like we have here, A relates to B. This is the answer. Are we going to have the same answer if now, uh, if AB relates to CD, this is what we have. If now CD relates to AB, are we going to have the same results? So that's what they are doing. We already know that AB relates to CD and this is the result. Now we are going to test CD now relating to AB. So this will be equal to, for this our result now, this our D over B will now be, our D is at this position. So we have B over D instead should be equal to a over c so we have b now over d should be equal to a over c okay so from here we have if cross multiply we have bc is equal to ad and from what was given the equation two you can see that bc here this is bc is equal to ad okay so equally from the equation cd relates ab implies AD is equal to BC. So equation 1 and equation 2 are the same. Where are these equation 1 and 2 coming from? Equation 1 is for CD relating to AB and equation 2 is for AB relating to CD. So are the two equations the same? Yes. Since the two are the same, it means that this relation is also symmetric. It is not also only reflexive, but it is also symmetric. Okay? So since the two are the same, AB relates to CD implies CD relates to AB. Therefore, the relation is what? It is symmetric. Many students always fail when it comes to these uh, particular questions. They always fail or they always keep it, which is not good. So the last one is to test the transitive property. And in transitive property, you already know in school that, is that if A is a friend of B and B is a friend of C, therefore A is a friend of C, that's what we are going to test here. We already know that AB relates CD. Now we are going to test CD relating another other pair, say EF. So we already know that AB relates CD from this uh, symmetric property. Now I want to test CD relating EF. So we first start by testing CD relating e, uh, EF. This will give us F over D equals E over C from this property in the equation. Okay. So from here, we will have F over E is equal to D over C. Let's call this equation 3. Now we want to equally test A, B relating EF. Okay. So AB relates uh, cd now cd relates ef now let's also test ab relating ef and see the result so ab relating ef will imply f over b is equal to e over a and that's going to give us an equation four okay so in the equation four we have f over e is equal to b over c now let's look at equation three and equation four in equation three we have f over e is d on c and equation 4, you see you have f over e is equal to b over a. So from equation 3 and equation 4, we can conclude that d over c is equal to b over a, right? So d over c equals b over a. And from here, if you cross multiply, we see that ad is equal to bc, which comes back to what we have here in equation 1 and equation 2. So what's the conclusion? Therefore, ab relates cd in, and uh, cd also relates ef, which implies ab also relates ef. And therefore, we see the property or the relation is what it is now transitive okay so it's transitive and since it is reflexive symmetric and transitive what do we conclude conclude that is an equivalent relation so at this point here, you are going to say that this it, it implies this transitive here uh, this was omitted it is transitive at this point and then you give your conclusion thank you make sure you subscribe watch paper 3 mechan mechanics and paper 3 statistics ciao
GCPAN。